I miss you already. Ow! Whoa! Throwing snowballs at me. You jerk! Hello, everybody. Fishmon14 here with more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I am outside of Freeze Easy Peak, obviously. And we are going to continue. Also, obviously. Before we go into that note door, we are actually going to open this. Shoot three eggs. Hello, Mr. Cauldron. Aha! It seems we've activated a warp. I think it's our first one, if I'm not mistaken. That's it, you've created a shortcut. Hop in and see! We could open that, but there's absolutely no purpose. Right now. We don't want to open that right now, even though we can, because we're awesome and we get all the notes. Just gonna poop on this one too. Activate this cauldron. And that doesn't activate a warp yet. Anything up here? I think it's just eggs. Yeah, eggs. Uh oh. Brentilda, I didn't actually know that. Well, there's one of our Brentilda locations. Let me just get the eggs first. Oh my gosh, it's gonna stop at 199. That's gonna bug me like you're like you can't even believe. The disgusting Quintilda has rat bagels for breakfast. Ew. Then she usually has maggot pie for dinner. Yuck. Yuck indeed. I don't think I want to hear anymore. Warp bags then finishes with cockroaches and cream for dessert. How horrid. <laughs> It really does sound quite absurd. Oh, you already said that. Who you poor dears, my love. Thanks, Brenty. I haven't really been keeping up with which ones I've been I've visited. I think I've only visited three so far, and I know where they would be. We're gonna going. Blah, blah, blah. We're gonna be going in here. I guess I'm gonna have to go back in my videos and find out exactly which Brentildas I've found so far and start keeping tabs on that. And here's our puzzle piece. You know what I actually like? Puzzle piece. Puzzle. Actually, what I could do is just look at a list of the Brentilda locations and I'll probably be able to remember if I've visited those, at least recently. There's one behind that tree, actually, that I know I haven't gone to. And I'll do that before I head into this world. And here's an enemy I don't think we've seen yet. You may have seen it on screen a couple times, but... It's basically a regular beehive, just when you kill it, bees start chasing you. One way to get rid of them? Ha 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 Die! It serves absolutely no purpose except for getting them to stop bug you. Stop bugging you. Ha <laughs> ha! Bugging you, get it? Because they're bees. It makes them buzz off. But you can avoid them by going a certain distance away anyway. They'll... They're not really a problem. So, you just grab some wading boots, unless you want to get your feet burned in some sand. Actually, wait, I think I am going to show that, because there is dialogue. What the... Wow, I just got stuck for a second. And I'm going to run out of timer, because I got stuck. Oh, that's cool. That's cool-tastic. Only we sand eels can survive in here. Hello, Brintilda. Long time no see. Grunty's best friend at Whisko was the awful saggy Maggie. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. Ugh. While sipping a glass of her favorite camel spit milkshake. That is that is positively disgusting. And also relevant to the world we're about to go in. Because this is, as you probably saw before, Gobi's Valley. 
Obviously a play on Gobi Desert. You'll find one more move in here, Manjo! And we already have our first Jinjo. Actually, I have a kind of... hang on. Turku wants rain! I'm shooting up! How's your nuts, Spark Breath? Kosui! Will eggs and feathers help? No! I need water! Help! Wow, way to use your roots. There's a freaking oasis around you. Anyway, about that yellow Jinjo. Sometimes I like to look, like, look at the comments on music for video game music, whatever, on YouTube. And sometimes they'll have like a comment like however many dislikes there are. Someone mentions that and something... Like they do that on a lot of videos actually, but with video game music a lot of times they'll, they'll make something humorous about the level that they're talking about or whatever. Like, one of them that I thought was really funny was the, like, the Boo level from, you know, like, the Haunted Mansion level from Super Mario 64, and they were like, three people got attacked by the piano or whatever, but one of the ones that made me laugh the absolute hardest was the one for this level. Somebody said, X number of people missed the yellow Jinjo. That's not that funny. It's funny when you read it. Not when I say it. I just... My nose is all blocked up. <laughs> hey, that tickles. <laughs> Sweet. Appears we can go in there. Ah, uh, that clear jinxy nose. Come on in. Did I get that Momo token? I wasn't really paying attention. Ah! So just head on inside, and there are, there are a number of things we can do in here, actually. For one, let's go ahead and get these notes that are scattered about the corners. Well, I guess not really scattered, but placed. Oh, God. Which will, if you know how to count, bring our note score up to 15, at least until we get on the carpets. Uh. Okay, here's something that's kind of funny. Ha <laughs> ha they burp, that's funny. Hey, sweet, I didn't have to do it again. So, just continue that. Now that we've got our Jinjo. Wait, I think you only need to shoot one in there. Ugh. Thought I wasn't gonna make that. Yeah, I guess you only need one. Oop. And there's our first Jiggy of the world of Gobi's Valley. This is one of my favorite worlds, actually. I need to make a list of my of like the exact order of my favorites in this game. Um, what are we going to do next? There's so much to do. We're going to do whatever pyramid is up here. No way, no, we're not. We're going to learn our move, actually, because that's just over here. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Aw, we've learned all the moves. I actually don't like that, how they kind of... They just stop. They have three worlds where you don't learn any moves because you just learn them all like halfway through the game. Kind of a bummer, actually. The sequel, in the sequel, you learn moves in every single world. 
That is, unless you consider. Wait. Grandma's gonna check it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you jerk. Pears too slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're too slow. We'll just have to take care of that. Um, where are they actually? I think they're over here. Perhaps. There's an Ecom Vocum. Oh, they're up here. I'm Amber. I'm Amber. Grab these notes. Faster, faster, faster! Danger's like, <laughs> too fast. Oh, jeez. No! I've had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. Oh, I kind of talked over that and you didn't get to hear that pitiful sound he made. Maybe you can hear it. Maybe I'll, like, turn up the volume there. Oh, there's so much to do. Okay, when I was, like, looking up what I'm supposed to be doing here... It mentioned, like, the mo on Banjo-Kazooie Wiki, it was mentioning, like, the Mumbo Tokens were on the exit of the Ziggurat, and I was like, what the F is a Ziggurat? So I had to, like, look it up on Google Images, and apparently this is a Ziggurat. It's, like, where you have, like, rectangles that slowly get, well, not slowly, but they get smaller, like, they're stacked on top of each other. So this is what a ziggurat is. In case you've heard that and... Oh jeez, I'm not gonna be even come close. That was pathetic. Well, I'm doing that again. Granty's race you cannot beat until you find some faster feet. I have fast enough feet, I just wasn't being not sucky, I think. Let's grab the shoes and try again. Do -do 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 -do. Go away. Okay. Don't change the camera on me, okay? I stopped moving the control stick just to be safe. I, like, had it tilted in the direction I was supposed to go, but... Just in case, it started me at a different camera angle. I didn't want to start running in the wrong direction, so I let go, but... I could've... Oh, well. Quit rambling. Make it, make it, make it, make it! Yes! Okay, there's a way to... You're supposed to lower the water level in here, but first, you want to get this. Is it? It's going to be nearly impossible to do it otherwise. If even it is possible. Hey, look, a smiley face! You want to do that before you grab this jiggy, because when you grab the jiggy... The door opens, and the water level lowers. And that fills up that sand pit that I probably should have looked into before. Down there was a bunch of sand, and you're pretty much screwed if you go down there. Forgot to look in there. My bad. My apologies, good sir, or female, or other. Ah. Uh. These guys you pretty much can't kill, except I maybe. Ugh. I think you can maybe kill him like this. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, smiley face. And this is where the mumbo token was. I could have gotten that later. So now we're going to... We're going to go underwater. And down here we have... Ah. Sorry, I looked away from the screen for a second. Didn't look where I was swimming. Oh, we have notes down here. I didn't even know that. Eh. Jinjo! That's what I came down here for. Is that it? Yep. 
Yeah, we might as well get the notes around here. Let's see, I kind of want to try to speed this up, actually. So, there's been a kind of a pattern going on where the first video of the world is like twice as long as the second one. And I want to try to have that not happen. At least, not as badly. Like with Clanker's Cavern, the first one was like 21 minutes, and then the second one was like 10 and a half minutes. Where's a quick jiggy? Really, I probably shouldn't have started getting these notes around here, but might as well go ahead and finish now. Since I've started. Ugh, I'm trying to save time, but I'm really just wasting time. I'll do this thing in the second video. This thing in the middle here. Um, I'll go in here first. Grab these notes. Okay, stop being bad at platforming. How do I... okay. Slam this. You get a head start, actually, but it's not like you need it. Hey, when they... Count the... they start counting down during the cutscene. Grab that mumbo token, and we have a matching game. Jinjo. Oh, wow, that was easy. I am really, really good. Oh, apparently not. Okay, mumbo egg, feather, note. Mumbo egg, feather, note. Banjo. Honeycomb, okay, just... Don't have any matches. Kazooie, thanks you, thank you, thank you. Feather is right here, right? Mumbo, where was that? Was that right here? Yes, indeed. Kazooie was over here. Note was up. No, 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 no! It was right here. I'm so stupid. Gosh. Banjo was right here. And honeycomb. Get it by 40 seconds. Come on, come on. Not gonna make it. Oh. Jiggy! How many jiggies is that? Four, maybe? Three, four? Four, okay. So there'll just be one more jiggy for this video. The reason I haven't been announcing the end of the videos in the, f like, in the first videos of the worlds is because I recorded... See, like, Mumbo's Mountain was just one video. And then the next recording session, I just did Treasure Trove Cove through Freeze Easy Peak. I didn't really have a plan. I was just gonna... I was thinking maybe I would just do one video per world. So they were gonna be like 40 minute parts, so I decided to split them up. But I had already recorded it, so I didn't announce the end of the video. And I didn't even plan on cutting in between for five jiggies, so I just kinda cut off. Especially when I'm talking about something as I get the fifth jiggy. I don't even know what I'm planning to do. Oh no, it'll do. Even though it's like halfway across the world. Move faster, Kazooie! actually use that a little bit. I really should have saved this for the next video. This, no, you know what I'll do? I'll do this, since I'm in the air. Yes. Quick decision making, Mr. Fishmon. I can't believe that didn't hurt me. Oh boy, this guy. Stereotypical voice time! Hello, my friend. I'm Ruby. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking 
looking for treasure. Bye. That bye, boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes. That thing right there actually shows up in Banjo Tooie as a certain character's pet. Let's grab some notes. Sixty-five. Making progress. Making progress. Sixty-seven, actually. Ah, if only there was another room with two, I could have got sixty-nine. Okay. It's this little dish moving around. We need to poop in it. Need some more poop? Ah! A thousand thanks! My friend Histop will now help you with your quest. And that is it for this video. See you guys next time when we finish up Gobi's Valley. That was a really long snake. <laughs>